Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. I've had a little ride up here and it's the Nats uh, radar uh, in Lincolnshire. And this is uh, parts, well, near the highest point in Lincolnshire. So I thought I'd have a ride. It's a lovely day. And I mean a lovely day, as you can tell. And for autumn, it's great. Uh, so I've had a ride up here today, just have a look, uh, see what's going on. Not a lot because it's in the middle of nowhere, but I can see this from where I'm parked. And I thought, well, I've got to have a look at this. It's a golf ball on a stick. So I'm not in a no-fly zone here. So I thought I'd bring the drone up and uh, have a look around because there's some stunning scenery around here and we're, we're, we're at the highest point. So uh, let's bang it up and uh, see what we can see. Well, not much to see, countryside. Uh, camera's a bit foggy because he's been in the van and uh, the drone doesn't like humid uh, humid air because it's been sat in the van for quite some time. I haven't had it out, the drone that is, for uh, for some time. So I need to get it in my uh, me dry box. <laughs> dry box. <laughs> so it'll take the humidity out of the drone and uh, I won't get as foggy. Of foggy footage but it's it's lovely up here it's it's really nice it's a, it's a nice ride it's about five miles six mile away from where i am and i've seen this thing in the sky well in in the distance and i thought i'll come and have a look and uh, see what it's about so let's go back i've got other things to show you as you can see it's a lovely lovely day let's put the power up a little bit because i'm lazy A typical autumn day sunny but chilly and that sort of weather I don't mind now if anybody's thinking about getting one of these e-bikes to lose a bit of weight but you're a bit reluctant to because of the perception of um, e-bikes are for lazy people and think well yeah they are actually because I'm lazy but they do help in losing weight. Now, me and my mate got these back in June. Um, and we both decided to go on to a, a, a weight loss trip. Because I was, when I started, I was 22 stone on a bit. And uh, now I'm 19 stone on a bit. So I've lost three stone just by cutting out all the rubbish and getting on the e-bike. And he's lost a couple of stone as well. So between the two of us, just by getting rid of the rubbish and actually using the e-bikes, and not all the time, mind you, we've lost a bit of weight. So if you're thinking about it as part of your weight loss program, I can recommend it because it's worked for me. Uh, you just got to stick to the hard bit and that's cutting all the rubbish out, which I'm finding very difficult because I'm addicted to food. <laughs> but there we go. But it is, it is difficult, but it is worthwhile because I feel a lot better. Now this hill I'm coming up to here is the steepest hill on the planet. I came up here before going up to the golf ball 
and I was in first gear and with full power and I might as well have just got off and walked. Um, I'll show you, it's a bit steep, I'll go to the top of it. Yeah, you can see the road just disappears, uh, but it is good fun. But I'm not going to put any power on. I'm just going to go down here and recharge the battery and use the old fashioned pedal power because it's a bit too dangerous to go down full whack in these electric bikes because I'm hitting 35 mile an hour. And on country roads, it's just not worth it. So it's. Uh... Oh, that's 23 miles an hour, 24, I'm not pedalling, there's no power, 25, that just shows how steep this is, 26, 27, are we going to get to 28? No, 27. And that's recharged my battery back up to 100% just by doing that. So when we get back to uh, Walter, I just want to go through um, some little bits and bobs that I've picked up over the last over the last 12 months. Oh, I'll have to put some power on. <laughs> over the last 12 months, little things, cheap things that help. Uh, in little situations, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you what, what I'm on about and hopefully if you find them interesting, use them, because I did uh, and if you want to know where I've got them from uh, just uh, put a message on the comments and I'll, I'll send you the link uh, like I did the other day, because uh, one of the viewers wanted to know where I got those uh, drip strips from and uh, the link was on the channel and hopefully they'd be sorted. So anyway, I'll see you back at Walter. So there's a few things that I've got over the last 12 months which uh, have helped out just uh, just things inside the van. One of them are these. I don't know if you can see these. Now these stick on and they've got hooks. There we go. That's a better view. There we go. <laughs> They stick anywhere. Now I got these um, to go on the outside of the van, so I can hang my solar, my flexible solar panel, um, as you can see now. So I, I put, I put one here and one here. So when I got me uh, my solar panel, they then just go onto there and onto there. And because the window opens on the outside, I can angle it from the inside to a better view for the sun. So if you're anywhere near the, anywhere in a place where you've got sun and you need to charge up, but it's too much of an angle, these little beggars, and they cost peanuts to get, uh, help out. Perfect. And during winter, while the sun's really low, I'll bang that on the window or on the front of the windscreen and I'll charge my power station. Now, I, I've got a Warre power station and uh, this thing there you go it's 500 and odd uh, watts it'll do an inverter it charges everything and I've had no problem with this and that 100 watt um, solar panel does does the job but I've got that much solar coming in now uh, I shouldn't really need to use that unless it's a real emergency and the sun's really low or it's bad and it's a bit poo but that solar solar panel with the soiree power station does the trick. The other thing as well which I found really good double sided sticky pads get them off Amazon Aliexpress uh, Timu for peanuts they're great uh, these are a good ones as well these are a stick on magnetic pads so if you've got something that just needs to be popped on every now and again without actually using any velcro or double sided sticky tape 
them little beggars work again they cost absolutely peanuts but uh in certain situations that i found they're dead handy i've mentioned these before and uh, they're a must in a motorhome and it's these these bags the crystallines crystallite crystal crystal water catcher bags whatever they are again that's before i've seen these, i've shown these before and that's an after and it, that's got still plenty left to go and i found these work brilliantly i've got them hung up all over the place i've done a video before on this so i've really no need to go into it that much um what else have i got this stuff is a must to have in the in, a, in the van and it's the sealant for the roof and you just peel it off you stick it over the over the the, the 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 leaky pot on your roof or wherever you want actually in the van outside the van and it seals it it's got a really sticky bitumen it's like silicon and uh, again amazon timu aliexpress Timu is a lot cheaper for this, which I've found out. I've paid silly money on Amazon, but you can get these on, on Timu for, for next to nothing. Uh, this... <laughs> Ooh. This is a telescopic window cleaning mop. And I got this uh, for cleaning snow and cleaning my solar panels. So instead of climbing up on the roof, I can just use the uh, extendable step ladders I've got. And... Uh, Cleany, cleany. So you're not actually going on a roof all the time. You can do it from the step ladder from the back or from the ladders at the side. Uh, it's a bit safer than climbing up on the roof because me and roofs really don't match. Uh, I tend to fall off things. Security wise, I've got loads of these and the ra rape alarms. And I got like five or six of these for a few quid off Timu. And uh, I use these little sticky pads to hook on like that onto the wall and then I put these onto the, I don't know if you can see it, onto the handles for the window. So if I'm in a place where I feel a bit, ooh, it's a bit dodgy around here, I'll bang these on. So if anybody tries to open the window, you're going to hear it. And uh, it costs nothing. Peanuts. For that, just that little bit of extra security. Um, these I got this, and it's it's a Velcro um, cover. Now I got these originally to put on the window for when it's really really cold, just to add a, add a little bit more insulation because the, the cold air drops off these windows into the cap, and it gets quite chilly. Uh, but actually now I use these to put over the skylights. So during the night, it's that extra bit of insulation on the skylights just to cover it up. Because it's Velcro, it sticks to the sticks to the roof uh, because it's got like a, a, a material cover on the roof. Um, again, Timu, peanuts. Uh, one thing I did get um, for a bit of extra insulation is these. These are play mats for kids' uh, bedrooms and things like that and they're like a foam spongy but i use these under the seats um as extra insulation extra padding uh, and they are brilliant and i also use them on the, pan the the planks of wood that goes in between in between the two seats that i when i make the bed up and it's nice and toasty but it's also good padding as well uh, again, I got these off Timu. I love Timu. I got these off Timu, uh, and it was like ten quid for like I think it was eight of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they really work, and uh, everything's nice and toasty, and everything's nice and comfy. Who would have thunk it? One of the things I needed for the bike was a pump, and uh, me and my mate found this on Timu, <laughs> that's like an advocate for Timu, but you can get these on Amazon, AliExpress and any of the shops and it's a rechargeable air pump. Now this thing goes up to 120 PSI, it's ridiculous uh, and I tried this on my wheels for the for Walter, I'll switch it on, there you go, I tried this on the wheels for Walter and it, it topped up the tyres to 67 PSI. 
for something like that and it was tenner uh, but I carry this all the time in the bike just in case I have a flax I got a punch repair kit as well but for the van or any anything that has tires this is the thing I am absolutely amazed with this because I didn't think it had pumped that that higher PSI and cope with it it's great for emergency get one of them 10 quid also if you've got a uh, problem with the drone like I do with a foggy lens I have a Tupperware tub with said drone and a lot of the uh, moisture collector packets that comes in uh, electrical and you know stuff that anything that's got something electrical and dispatch it they always put on these dissident pack things whatever they're called dissident them and uh, what I do I put them in the tub a lucky band and during winter that's where I store them so it just stops any moisture getting into the into the lens causing the fog which I had today uh, so yeah that does help so if you have got a problem with a foggy lens on a drone this works and it's also recommended by the manufacturer Potenzik that's what they advised me to do so uh, I did it and it worked so happy days anyway so uh, I hope you had enjoyed the little ride out today it's been a gorgeous day and uh, we've seen a giant golf ball on a stick and some lovely scenery and I hope these little things that I've shown you today uh, just help you out a little bit it certainly helped me um, you know just make things a bit easier have a great day see you later bye